Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one we're going to really look at the two-way door system in Minecraft. So as you can see we have two designs, one uses levers and one uses buttons. So we're going to be taking a look at both of them and you can choose whichever one you like. Alright so as you can see this is the door over here and we have our button over here and one is inside. Now over here as you can see we have these redstone lamps, these are not necessary. They just indicate that the door is open or closed. So as you can see, when we press this button, the door will open up. Now you can head on inside. And uh, when you're inside, you can just press this button to close it again. And uh, do whatever you want. And uh, now when you want to go out, you can just press this button once again. And get out. Press that button. And then... Okay, so I do know that you can just have a button. And that will function just like this system. If You will just press it and it will close back. But in this system, you can just press the button and have the door permanently open. So if you want to transfer a lot of items, you can just keep this open. And when you're done, you can just press this button and it will close back again. Alright, so this is the redstone behind this thing. And as you can see, it is fairly compact. And you can fit it anywhere you want. So as you can see, these are the two inputs. As you can see, these are all leading into this repeater over here. Now this is going into a T flip flop. So as you can see, when you press the button, the input from this device is going to be permanently turned on. And that means your door is going to be opened. But, but when you press it once again, from anywhere, it's going to be closed. All right, to build this thing, what you wanna do is start off with these items. And of course your inputs are going to be really, really different from this because this is just a sample and I've just built this to showcase the whole system. So firstly what we're gonna do is build the T flip-flop. So what you're gonna do is come over here, place a dropper facing into just you standing over here just like this. Place a dropper facing upwards like that and then a dropper facing this way just like that and then add a hopper on top just like this. Now what you wanna do is place one item inside of this. It can be whatever item you want and it's gonna travel up to this drop over here. Now we're gonna place a comparator and then a block and then you can just take an output from there. And to run the input into this T flip flop, you have to directly run it into this dropper, bottom dropper over here. You can't have it like this. You can just add a repeater or just place rest on dust just like that. So we're gonna just place them, place it like this. So now you can just connect both of your inputs into this repeater over here this line and then you can take the output from this over here all right for this design we're going to be using levers so you're just gonna flick this lever as you can see your door will open up and when you're inside you want to close this so just flick this lever as you can see your door will close up now you can do whatever you want it's actually outside over here not inside but whenever you're done with doing whatever you want in your secret base or something you just flick this lever as you can see the door will open up and then you can just flick that to close it up all right so as you can see this is the redstone behind the lever version and it is actually much cheaper and much simpler than the button one so as you can see when you flick this lever the input is going to be turned on but when you flick this lever as you can see the input is going to be turned off but when you turn this on again it's going to be turned on and then turned off so when if you have a door connected to this it's going to be opening up and then it's going to close up and then it's going to open and close once again but this actually works in both ways so if you want to have this and if the redstone is turned off if you flick this lever as you can see it will turn on again and if you flick this it will turn off again so this can be controlled from both of these directions so to build this thing what you want to do is start off with the 5x4 area and the first thing that you want to do is add your repeaters going in just like this and a repeater coming in just like that. So as you can see this is going to be your input 1 and this is going to be your input 2 and this is going to be your output. So you can hook this up from wherever you want. Now what you want to do is just place a block over here, a block over here, two redstone dust just like this and go over here and place a torch over there, a torch over there, redstone dust just like this 
and then place a piston and then place a block on the face of that just like that now when you have your levers as you can see when you flick this lever the redstone is going to be turned on so you can have a door or whatever you want but when you flick this it's going to be turning off and then you can just control it from each direction however you want all right so those were the designs that i had for you today that was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos i will see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye